Hey, Scotty, didn't we get a parcel somewhere? I'm waiting for that Modern Horizon 3 box. Oh, you cheeky, you, you already have it. All right, let's open it. Hello, and welcome to another one of our Lazy Stream unboxing videos. I'm Vlad, your host, and this is Scotty, and this is a series where Scotty and I take the time to unbox and read our cards, well, letting you know how good they are, and if the product is truly worth your time and money. So grab your favorite drink, sit down and relax as we dive into this unboxing. Thank you very much, Scotty, for this wonderful introduction, and today, today we, we're diving into one of the cool cool products for Modern Horizons 3, the bundle. This is the normal bundle. And today we have a little bit of a special one as we're not only doing one bundle, we're doing two, haha. <laughs> yes, yes, and Modern Horizons 3 is a craze and a, the biggest expansion, let's be honest, of the year. Even seeing uh, what they're doing, Dustmorn and um, Bloomborough. The idea is, I think that this is their big expansion. And they even pushed it on MTG Arena. So without further ado, let's have a look at the wonderful contents of this beautiful box. As usual, I am a huge fan of bundles, but uh, let's see how this one stacks up. So you'll get 15 and 15 of the four lands and the normal lands, and then you'll get the nine play boosters, which, you know, there's no more draft boosters anymore, so it's only play boosters, uh, an alt art, power balance, uh, an oversized spin dunk life counter, which is a d20, and the card box, some reference cards, and that's about it, really. This box, I think, was printed in Belgium, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. And yeah, the dice was made in China. And without further ado, let's dive into this. <clears throat> and we'll see what we've got here we've already done the play booster box unboxing so we won't really spend too much time on the commons and uncommons we will just dive straight up to the rear and etc slot but other than that as usual there's a little bit of a insert here so you have the five new planeswalkers or new old planeswalkers i should say because spark these sparks who keeps track of that anymore the lore is cuckoo crazy. So there you go. There you have the box. You have here Johnny with a volcano erupting on the back. And then you have the little bit of a Kata cardboard encounters as usual. And then you'll get the boosters. Voila, sorry. The die, which is of a green. It's just green. Um, you have the Modern Horizons 3 logo here, but it's just a, you know, emerald green. Very beautiful color. If you're into collecting those, there you go. And then you get the little, well, you get the, the two additional thingies and you get the little booster that contains the extra cards and the land. So we will dive into this one if we can really quickly. There we go. So, so far the cards are not bent, which is great. Some of the bundles, unfortunately, tend to be bent, especially the ones coming from the United States. Haha. -ha. And also it's, everything is so much better when you have lighting in that right. So <laughs> here we have the power balance. This is a beautiful, beautiful illustration made by, uh, I'm not gonna try and say that name, but anyway, a really cool illustration. It's an enchantment, it costs two red. Whenever you put in cast a spell, you may reveal the top card of your ally. But if you do, you may cast that card without paying its mana cost if the two spells have the same mana value. Well, that's a bit of a um, pickle to try and get that done. Then you have the full art lens foil, like this. Very, very beautiful. I really like them. I love the fact that the Eldrazi are in the picture <laughs> in every single one of them. That's really cool. And then you get some <clears throat> double of the plains, double of the island, double of the swamp, double of the mountain, and double of the forest. And then basically the same, but just non foil. Oh, there you go. Now, so it's a surefire way to get those full art lands in case you are interested. So I'm usually a huge fan of bundles. This bundle was much more expensive. I think it was about 30 to 40 pounds more expensive than a normal bundle for what you're getting inside is the same really quality um, and value. The cards inside, yeah, they, they can be a bit more expensive because we're talking about, you know, supposedly modern cards. The problem is this set, as I said before, has a lot of cards that are meant for drafting and a lot of cards that are really just good for uh, Commander. So it is very much Commander Horizons slash a little bit of modern on the rare side. There are some really good ones, I'm not gonna say, also for Legacy, etc. But yeah, the focus of the set has been kind of split. Anyways, Eastridge Evocation, it costs three, it's an enchantment. You may have it enter the battlefield's copy of enchantment when you control a set that has at the beginning of your upkeep. You may exile this enchantment if you do return to the battlefield on its own control. Okay, Riti. <laughs> 
Hello. Hey. Yeah. Okay. Ulamog the Defiler number two. This is the second one we got. That is so insanely lucky. That is great. Uh, yeah. I mean, this is this guy is insane. Enters battlefield, exile half of the opponent's library, which is yeah, just insane. And then off of that, you just do an insane amount of things. This card is just incredible, and I really love it. Okay, next we have a Wish of Witness, okay, and a fish. It's just a fish. And there you go, yeah. So that was an insane first pack. I think that kind of paid for the box. I know I'm not quite sure about the value of this card just yet. I, I'm, you know, after pre-release prices drop down, stuff tends to die down. But um, yeah, it's still. 78 pounds i think or something like that 70 something pounds the the box so that's insane that's why you know bundles are just uh usually it's something that i advise i like the fact that they brought back uh, older cards but and this set we saw this one and this set is just i don't know it's it's it feels like is it really worth it i don't know it's up to you how badly do you want some of these cards but the advice it's best to just always buy the cards that you need if you need some specific ones now of course bundles are a bit better in overall in dipping your toes yeah into an expansion so there's that and also it's a good gift although they are quite expensive so keep that in mind anyway oh flare mouse saw the flare already once and waterlock teachings wow that's beautiful the flame hope you can see that that is really really beautiful and kozilek in the art yeah so i would like to see the blue flare i think we've seen everything except the green and the blue flare and of course with the flutter shrines as well we have not seen and then there's kozilek and yeah a little slew of other cards and as i said before i have not seen all the cards of the set i've not spoiled myself too much i've seen more, a lot of the rares but yeah anyway we'll see what's uh what happens here and uh oof, legendary dragons makes a return and oh rattle okay so now we have the borderless version of raw moonson's mage this is the um, planeswalker flip so this is a one three legendary human wizard creature that is red so it costs two and an instant sorcery spell you cast costs one less to cast generic that's pretty good and when you cast an instant sorcery spell during your turn you flip a coin if you lose a flip it deals one damage to you but if you win the flip you may exile him and if you do return on battlefield it does transform under its owner's control and he become Raul Leyline Prodigy. Really cool card. Love the the, um, the illustration. It's just beautiful. So it has two loyalty, this Planeswalker, and it says Raul enters the battlefield with an additional one encounter on him for each instant source of spell you cast this turn, which is very good in a storm deck. Um, then a plus one until your next turn, instant source of spell you cast costs one generic less to cast and then Raul deals two damage divided as you choose amongst one or two targets and draw a card if you control a blue permanent other than raw and then exile the top eight cards of your library you may cast an instant source to spell amongst them or you may cast instant source to spell not one but any amongst them this turn without paying their mana cost so yeah if you manage to storm into this it's gonna be insane um that's that's it that's just wonderful really cool card then we have a furbis familiar and a foil swampy swamp just adding to the collection right there and uh, yeah that's done that's cool okay next up yeah so far it's been cool i will say bundles tend to be really 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 good i would say eight out of ten times and don't quote me on those statistics but most of the times it feels like you're getting more value or valuable cards out of the packs that are inside of bundles than of packs inside of a play booster box and that might be the way that they randomize uh, things in bundles and uh, when they're trying to put the randomization like the boosters inside i don't know maybe Maybe it's some extra. I don't know how they do it in the um, in the factory, but whatever. Anyway, we have Omo Queen of Azuva. This is a Commander Masters card, and it's probably either a Commander or a General. I don't know yet. I have not seen it. Now it's a one five shapeshifter noble. It costs three, and it's Simic. And whenever it enters the battlefield or attacks, you put an every encounter on each of up to one target land and up to one target creature. Each land with an every encounter on it, it is every land type in addition to its other types. It no land creature with an everything counter on it. it's every creature type that's very cool so you have shapeshifter and land shifting in a way that's nice and then we get cephaly coliseum archway of innovation yet again and then we have static prison and foil a mountain and some art that's pretty cool with this art colossal dread mask very cool okie dokie right but we continue on yeah um yeah first pack umog that that was cool <laughs> 
Yay. All right. So on and on. Beautiful. I really love bundles in general. I used to love them when they were called fat packs because you used to also get the book. So it was really an introduction to an expansion to us. I'd already seen it before. It was really something, you know, uh, incredible because yeah, you would just get a little bit of everything and you would just enjoy it. <laughs> you got to dip your toe into an expansion and you learn the lore behind it back then when the internet one is, wasn't as big. Sort of sad that they've stopped doing the novels like that. But then again, from my understanding, the novels have dropped down in quality significantly as well. So there's that. So <laughs> anyway, oh, White of the Rail Queer. Seen him again. I, the randomization is not really random in this one. Uh, Fetty Gargantua. And uh, what is this? Is the Phyrexian Arena or Towers? Because we got this in the same batch from um, the Mox in the Hole here in Edinburgh shout out it's probably was in the same batch of boxes and uh, therefore a lot of the the repetition is here unless this is you know expansion wide here in belgium for everything printed and then it would be quite um worrisome but i highly doubt that that's the case it tends to be the more the boxes that come from the same boxes <laughs> tend to have the same stuff so anyway oh the creation of obviously not seen this one before search a library for a card exile face down then shuffle Turn the exile card face up. If it's a creature card, you lose life equal to its final value. You may put ooh, the exile card on the battlefield if it's a creature card. If you don't, put it on the battlefield. Okay, cool. Not not bad. And then we have Hydro Let Specimen. Ooh, where's this incubator? Where's this incubator? This is a cool card. Really good for commander. And uh, yeah, it was reprinted in Commander Masters as well. So it's pretty nice. Then we have the Shifting Woodland, which we've seen before. And then we have the Path of Annihilation which is a cool enchantment then some food tokens this is a food for one horizon three uh it's not good food this one no good at all okay all right last booster of the first box here we go if we go if we go okay so bespoken battle wagon oh no not master slith buried alive ah! Genku, future shaper. Okay, so we've seen Genku before. This is the borderless version of Genku, though. Now we have the Cyclops superconductor and an insect token and the back. So that's it for the first box. I'm gonna fast forward to the next one and I'm just gonna take the, the packs out of that one because, well, uh, you've just seen the contents of a bundle. Okie doke, here we are back. And let's open the first of the second bundle. Best of luck to us. That was a that was a different bundle, I can tell you that. That was not expected that almost at all on the first one. The, the rest was okay. I don't think we pulled anything incredible, but uh, yeah, that first pull was well, uh, completely unexpected. Okay, collective resistance and a Prince of Titanium, which I love seeing him back. Abstruse appropriation, the void, and then holy sh <laughs> I mean, come on, man. <laughs> what the? <laughs> okay. Uh, the world of new Emrakul is here and it's foil. Legendary creature Eldrazi, 12-12 uh, for 12 generic. When you cast a spell, you gain control of all creature target player controls. It's not until the end of the turn, you just gain control of them. Flying protection from spells and from permanents that were cast this turn. And then when Emrakul, the world of new leaves the battlefield, sacrifice all creatures you control, and you can madness six generic? What, you can cast it for six generic? So basically the way madness works is if you discard it, you find a way to discard it, then you exile it, and if you pay six generic, you can cast it. That's insane. Um, yeah, this is uh, mind boggling. That's incredible. Um, okay. <laughs> All right, then we have a forest and fanatic of Runas. Uh, yeah, sure. I I'll take that. No problem. I'll take that with some uh, gravy on top. Eh? Okay, so then we have Galvanic. Uh, yeah, I, I did not expect that. Uh, uh, be careful though. Not everybody gets this lucky. I think this has been the luckiest of the uh, bundles so far that we've done. And we have Crab Omination. <laughs> I like this uh, play on words. Cost six. Emerge from an artifact. Okay, so if you sack an artifact, you, you can pay the difference. And when Crab Omination is battlefield, the target opponent styles the top card of their library, a card at random from their graveyard, and a card at random from their hand. You may cast a spell from amongst those cards that sell this way without paying its mana cost. Wow. That's interesting. That is uh, a lot of gimmicks, but again, this is more of a commander card than anything else. Um, yeah. Okay, so there's that. Whew. Yeah, I can't believe it. We got a full Emrakul. And 
I mean, I'm, we're missing Kozilek, I think. That's. <laughs> By the way, we're we still have we're gonna be opening everything, so we still have the um, collector box after this, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be crazy. Another toxic deluge, and uh, the Texas Phoenix, and Dross Claw foil and surf. Yeah, see, like toxic deluge is a cool card. It had just been reprinted in Commander Masters, so my question is, why would you print it in here? And so many other Commander cards are printing here, um, which is great for Commander players, but again, this is supposed to be a Modern Center set, expansion. Yep. Oh, okay, so finally another one. We opened a full box of these, uh, play boosters, and we got only one of the retro frames, so the chances of getting them, they're quite, quite low. Um, but yeah, tune the narrative, and um, the retro frame is gonna shift this over out of way. Then we have the Decree of Justice, and then we have Ugin's Binding. All right, the Ugin's Binding. This is cool. I really want to see this one. It's devoid by the Chaos Three with a blue. You turn like a non land permanent you do not control to its owner's hand, and whenever you cast a, a color spell, the mana value for seven or greater you make exile Ugin's Binding from your graveyard. When you do, return each non land permanent you don't control to its owner's hand. So. So it's basically a Cyclonic Rift for the Eldrazi deck. So that's great. And what do we have here? Idol of the False Gods and Planes and a Witch Enchanter signed our card. So yeah, that's great. And that's a really good card too. These, uh, these bundles, honestly, mate, they are crazy. Okay, onwards and upwards. Uh, here we go. Uh, here we go, here we go. Okay, Meteoric Mace makes a return. Oh, Wits of Thief, very good. I love the land. We'll have to see it. We did not get this one yet. I think we're missing only one now, which is the Flooded Shrines anyway. Water logged and the planes and the is Stomp Stomp. <laughs> stomp Stomp. There you go, Stomp Stomp. All right, that's what I was when I opened all these cards. This has three freaking mythics that are incredible. Two in one um, bundle so far. That's the, the chances of getting that are extremely low. So don't expect to open something like that. But you're so lucky. Okay, Bridge Wars Battle and Distinguished Contra. Jeez, uh, stay there. And oh, Kudo King Among Bears. Um, that's the, uh, the, what was her name? Ayala, Queen of the Bears. I'm probably butchering it. I'm gonna put the cards up somewhere. And then now we get the King. So this is a 2 2. It's a Lesnium. And um, other creatures have base power and toughness um, 2 2 and are bears in addition to the other type. It's all other creatures. So your opponents as well. So if you have anything that buffs, all bears, then you're gonna buff your opponents as well. So you gotta be careful with that. Basking, uh, brute scales, and a zervo. And then three more boosters, and then we're done. And then we're done. Uh, crazy, crazy. Can't believe it. Okay. All right. So here we go. Envoy, charitable, levi, or levy, legionnaire, anointed, and party thrasher. Okay, not seen this one before. It's a one for lizard wizard. Lizard wizard. I cost two non creature spells. You cast from exiles, have convoke. Okay, so okay. Now, the game you have a pre combat main phase, you may discard a card. If you do, you mix all the top two cards of the library, then choose one of them and play that card. It's certain it's okay. Nothing major. And then we have buried alive again in foil, though. And then a demon. Lord. Okay, two more to go. Let's go. Okay, right. Royal branching evolution. Enchantment costs three. If one or more counters will be put on creature control twice, then many plus one plus one counters are put on a creature set. I mean, this is a reprint. Uh, Imp Scare Iron Eater is a 5 5 demon. Costs eight. Okay, and has racked us affinity for artifacts. And when in enters battlefield, you draw X cards, you lose X life, where X is a half the number of artifacts you control running down. And before you can sack an artifact and it deals damage, equal to sacrifice artifacts, mana value, giant target. It's okay, but again, this is a commander card. What the frick are they doing in a set like this one? I have no idea. I love how they're gonna try and justify, oh no, yeah, yeah, we need to create something for draft. Draft players, absolutely, we need them to draft, but even though the, the boosters are freaking expensive to draft with. So the entry is very prohibitive unless people really care to do it. And that's my advice. Um, there you go. And then we have Godfire Size. No, oh, Johnny fills the God Sire. Where's this cave? Yay! Yay! I want to get at least one of these. This is the first one we see. And so it's a uh, tap down one generic and three sack it. Search your library for a land card. Put on the battlefield tap, then shuffle. So it's really, really good. So for any land card. And uh, because there's interaction with Orzas in other lands, uh, yeah, this is something that I really wanted to get. So I'm happy with that one. Then we have the Cybal Fraley 
Hades and Shrieking Drake and oh Wrath of the Skies. So this is a Wrath of God, but with the energy counters on it. So not bad. I actually like that. Then we have Inferno Captor and an Island and a Token. So that's it. We uh, have finished. That's it for our bundles. As I said, recapping real quick. We got really, really lucky in the Mythic slot. This is uh, something that doesn't usually happen to us. We got a lot, a lot of value in these. So that's that. And uh, regarding, is it worth it for you? Yeah, sure. Dip your toes in it. Maybe you get lucky, maybe you don't, but at least you get a little bit of boosters and a little bit of contagious to, to hold your cards and that's about it. And uh, yeah, for us, it was worth it. But again, as I said, it's very much luck dependent. So go with that. Other than that, uh, if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and let us know in comments down below what you enjoy about this set. Or if you don't like it, just let us know. We reply, read and reply to every one of them. And if you like what we do and, and would like to support us, why not subscribe as it helps small channels like ours a lot. And we'll see you in the next video. Scott and I, we thank you very much. We wish you a lovely day, a blessed day. Be good, be kind, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.